Hello, this reading is for those who just recently broke up or had a fallout with your partner. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, who you're dealing with, who left who, etc. The advice spread, is it worth your time to reconcile with this ex? And the new love in the near future spread. Do you have anybody new coming towards you, hopefully better suited for you than your ex? Please like my videos if they resonate and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, here's the situation. We have the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Magician. We have the Page of Swords. We also have the Knight of Cups. Then we have the Five of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Wands. And we have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with another uh, Water Sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces. So we have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is somebody coming back from the past, and I think that uh, your boyfriend's or your girlfriend's ex came back into the picture and uh, they stole your boyfriend or your girlfriend back. They took him back. They actually fought for them and they, they got him back. That's what I see here. That's the only... If you can explain this, if you can interpret this in any other way, please do so on the, on the bottom. In the comments below, I'm really curious if this actually played out in any other way. So the Six of Cups is somebody coming back from the past. Uh, the first card uh, that came out is the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Magician. I think that's your energy. You were really looking forward to uh, starting a committed relationship with this person, or even a family. You were manifesting it with this person. Because the Ten of Cups is one of the family cards. This is uh, uh, one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships. And that's what you really wanted with this person. But here came this challenger from the past. And uh, with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups, they were able to lure that person back. The Page of Swords. If you take a closer look at this uh, card right there, this is somebody who is um, a sort of on defense, and they kind of looks like somebody says, "This is mine. I'm not giving it away." Or I want this back. And the Knight of Cups. This was the offer coming from that ex. Um, lots of love there. Perhaps they promised them pretty much everything that uh, they wanted or they promised them what they were missing in their relationship and uh, I don't know why the two of them broke up in the past but perhaps there was something missing in their connection so I think they promised that missing piece, that missing link and uh, your boyfriend, your girlfriend uh, fell for it. And uh, in the outcome, we have the five of ones clarified by the seven of ones. This is a, a conflict. This is a confrontation. That's what actually happened. And I think ultimately, unfortunately, Scorpio, you lost that battle because um, that person's ex was very smart, and uh, perhaps your relationship was too fresh for um, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, to. Um, I don't know, develop a very deep tie with you, but they were still sort of attached to their ex and uh, that's what ultimately prevailed in addition to them promising what was uh, missing. All right, let's take a look at the um, at the second spread. Let's take a look at the advice. The advice spread often reveals more details. Here's the advice spread for you, uh, Scorpio. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Moon. We have uh, the Moon clarified by the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups and we have the Star. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius. So this is a very straightforward spread. It's very simple. It's what actually um, anybody would tell you. So you need to uh, get out of this depression and don't lose hope for a committed relationship if that's what you want or marriage because it will come to you at some point in the future let's take a closer look we have the moon right there the moon could be a Pisces you're dealing with but most likely the moon is uh, you feeling sad you are being depressed you having fears that uh, you'll never ever uh, meet anybody whom you will have a committed relationship with whom you will start a family with right and uh, it's clarified by the Two of Swords, so you need to stop that. The Two of Swords is a word no <laughs> in this particular spread. So cut that out and uh, look forward into the future because uh, we have the Ten of Cups and the Star. 
that came out after the moon, right? The star, it could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but most likely the star is uh, something you wish for or hope for, or this is a wish come true. So eventually this wish will be granted, right? And uh, what you're wishing for is the Ten of Cups right there in the middle. The Ten of Cups is, um, is a relationship card or this is a family card, right? A union card. I a happily ever after card. So that's what you are uh, were wishing for and uh, you should continue to wish for that. And uh, there is no other way I can interpret this spread, Scorpio. Alright, so let's take a look at the third spread. The third spread is about a new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's the third spread, Scorpio. This is a new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Page of Wands clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Empress and we have the World on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. So I really like the World on the bottom of the deck. The World is my happy end card and it pretty much means that one chapter of your life will be coming to an end and the new happy chapter of your life will be beginning. Speaking of new beginnings, we have the Eight of Wands, the first card that came out. This is a card of uh, communication. This is often called uh, the Cupid's Arrows card. And it's one of the fastest uh, cards in the deck. It often um, talks about travel, potentially by air. So you could be traveling this uh, month. If you are traveling this month, you could be meeting this person on the road. Or you could be meeting this person online. Or this is just this relationship... Um, that will drop out of the blue sky for you. We have the Knight of Pentacles here as well. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, most likely an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn you're dealing with, or this is the offer coming from this new person. It's very grounded, very serious, long-term type of an offer. Speaking of long-term, we have the page of uh, ones clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is one of the marriage cards or a committed relationship cards. This is the type of a relationship or marriage where people buy real estate together and it lasts for years and years to come. And uh, it's clarifying the page of ones, so the page of ones is a communication. It could be a fire sign reaching out to you. And uh, it could start off kind of silly, but um, flirty, but don't uh, let them fool you. This person is looking for somebody long term because uh, the page of wands, like I said, is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and we also have the Knight of Pentacles preceding the page of wands. So it could be both kind of passionate, very flirty, but at the same time both of you will be looking at this connection as something long term, right? Speaking of long term, we have uh, the Empress right there. The Empress is the outcome. I specifically asked what the uh, outcome is going to be and the Empress came out. I usually pull more than one card for the outcome but that was enough. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. The Empress is the mother of the tarot deck. So if having children is still an option for you, you could be having children with this new person. And uh, the Empress is simply abundance in its purest form. And I think that's enough said. So like I said with the world card, this uh, old chapter with that previous person is coming to an end and the new happy, abundant and stable and grounded chapter of your life is um, going to be starting pretty soon and uh, it's going to be a little flirty and passionate as well. Alright, so that's what I got for you Scorpio. Hopefully it resonates and other than that have a fantastic January. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.